Okay, welcome back to the channel and today I want to go through my three-step revision process over the Easter holidays. Hopefully you're either in your Easter holidays now or you're going to be in the next week or so. I really want to give you this really, really clear guidance so when you're revising for your IGCSEs or your, even your IB exams as well, I can give you this really, really specific advice so you can improve your grades. So I'm going to go through that three-step process right now and make sure that you're on track to really get the grade that you deserve. Okay, so let's go through my three-step procedure over the Easter holidays. And the first thing that you need to do is assess your strengths and weaknesses. Now, there are two main ways that you can do this. So number one is to pass paper walkthroughs. So choose your course, IGCSE, IB, and then go through those past paper walkthroughs. That gives you a good overall general view of exactly how the course works. Again, the link to that is in the descriptions below. Alternatively, if you're doing the IGCSE course, I have done two videos on the so-called All of IGCSE 0580 and All of IGCSE 0607 videos. So I pick the 10 most common topics on both those courses, and then I do a good example question. I go through the detail of that. Each video lasts about two hours, but you can pick out those questions that you need to work on. So that's the first thing you need to do here, assess your strengths and weaknesses through those two videos. Number two then is a new thing I've actually created here, which is work through the PowerPoint IGCSE questions by topic. So I've gone through the past papers from the last say five years, more or less, and what I've done is I've put all those questions into one PowerPoint, each one about 40, 45 slides. And that's also with the mark scheme after each question. Now, at the time of recording, I've done the following videos here. So sine, cosine, rule, bearings, statistics, transformations, GDC skills, and functions. So those PowerPoints are there. Uh, in the future, I'm hoping to actually record an all of statistics, all of transformations video as well. Um, the link to those are in the description below as well. I'm just going to show you now exactly one of those uh, PowerPoints. I'm going to take the functions one and show you exactly what that looks like. So this is the function one here. As you can see, um, you've got the questions here. So I picked this out from various past papers and then the mark scheme afterwards. And you can also see where you pick up the method marks. So it's a really straightforward PowerPoint question. Okay, it may sometimes a longer question, mark scheme. Question, question. This is quite a complicated one here from D to G. And then the mark scheme and where you pick up the marks. Okay, so you've got access to this by clicking on the link in the description below. And once you've done step two, then the key part here is to ask for help on the questions that you don't understand. There are many, many people you can talk to in order to get clarification on these questions. The first people to talk to are actually your peers, so your friends in class uh, who are also doing the IGCSE course with you. But this also includes uh, people in the grades above, so grade 11, grade 12, or year 12 and year 13, that have been through exactly this process and have got really fresh, up-to-date knowledge of how to answer these questions. Of course, you've also got your teacher, but don't forget you've got your teachers as well. Yeah, The entire maths team is there to help you with any question that you have. Your parents have also done maths at school maybe many, many years ago, and they might be able to help you with specific questions. If you have a tutor, then obviously a tutor is a great person to ask to make sure you understand the questions that you're not sure about. And finally, family friends. So family friends that might be mathematicians themselves, or maybe they do physics or they do economics, something maths related, and they can help you with those specific questions. Right, hopefully you found that useful to you, that three-step procedure. So it really clarifies exactly how to go about that revision process. And if you want to check out those all of IGCSE videos, then please look at the two videos right in front of you.